hi guys welcome back to the channel today i have the thrust master usb joystick for flight simulators unboxing and in this video you will see a full unboxing and overview of this joystick and a full dedicated review will also come soon in which i will be telling you whether this is worth buying for flight simulators or not because this is the cheapest joystick from a good brand in the market the next which comes at a higher price than this is the logitech extreme 3d pro which is also a very popular joystick loved and used by flight simmers. If you are looking forward to buy this, you can see the features and details carefully by pausing it because many likes to see the details before buying. The unboxing videos were very old for this product so I thought to make a good one. At this side there is some information regarding the axis. Here are some features. If you are looking for a specific feature, you can take a screenshot or pause this video to read in detail. Now let's start with the unboxing, see the experience and check out the contents we get inside as this is the cheapest joystick in the flight simming market. So the first thing we find in the box is the USB which would be a basic 2.0 or 1.0 and we do not even need more than that. It's just that it should work fine. So a long USB cable as you can see here. Next thing is a thrust master booklet. And do read this as these contain some important information regarding the product. So the manual contains some basic information regarding the installation. So I guess no need to read this. It's not that important. I will show you the installation in the review video only. The joystick is under this flap cover. Now this is something which your unboxing experience will be like if you buy this joystick. The joystick has a little foam on its top and here how it comes in the packaging. Now many of you may get a doubt that whether it's a pre-opened product or used product because of the packaging as there is no cover and it's just the joystick kept in the box. Let me check and confirm if this is actually a new unit or not because the product has no plastic wrap or container. Well the joystick is shining, no scratches and is completely clean so you can be assured that the product you will get will be new only and the official packaging is like this and there is no tinkering done to it before this is the official thrust master packaging let's check the weight right now so it weighs just 349 grams so it is a light weighted joystick let me show you the joystick from a more closer look now this button is a hat switch button also known as pov switch and you can click it in four sides which is a top down left and right these are the four sides you can use it for setting custom views or anything in the simulator we also have a button on the center which is a one click button and another button on the right side which is also clickable on the back we have a trigger button which is smooth and you can also assign to any function you like using the sim settings this is the throttle which you can do full down and up talking about the hand grip do note that I am not left handed but still it's not bad though it's little uncomfortable for me using with the left hand. If you are someone who can get used to it or a left handed person you will not face any issues. Now with the right hand it's extremely comfortable for me personally and also the hand rest is for the right hand flying users. So resting your hands on the joystick is easier when it comes to right hand users. The in-hand feel is also great considering its price. So quality wise it's great but actual performance you will find that in the review video that will be coming very soon. So if you found this video helpful please click on that like button. If you have any doubts you can post that in the comment section down below and do subscribe if you do not want to miss the review video as well. So that was it for today's unboxing video. Thanks for watching it and I will see you in the next one.